Gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Democracy 3. My name, of course, is Obra Potato. Today, we are getting down to business in a brand new playthrough, as a brand new country, actually, in uh, in both sense of the words, in-game and, uh, and and theoretically in the real world. But whatever, let's, uh, let's get down to business. We are going to be playing as Scotland, the fair land in which I live in, uh, in the aftermath of the Scottish referendum, with Scotland remaining within the Union by only a 10% majority, and the new rise of the Scottish National Party winning 56 out of the 58 constituencies, an independent Scotland in the near future is still a real possibility. All right, so as we can see, 5.295 million population size 78,000 whatever you know you know all of this nonsense iron brew consumption 20 20 no, 20 2.3 kilograms per person all right well the first thing i would point out is that you don't actually measure iron brew in kilograms although i suppose you could if you really wanted to measure weight iron brew is a uh, a drink like pepsi i suppose except it's orange and it tastes a bit like rust if you can imagine Rust and uh, and haggis index the the national dish of Scotland. Uh, Three dollars thirty two cents I guess, which is a little bit weird because you don't measure haggis by cost. I don't really know. Anyway, let's uh, let's just play. So uh, we are going to be playing as the Scottish National Party. All right. So at the moment, uh, the Scottish National Party is trying Scottish national oh, that's not how you spell nationalist Nation. that's not how you spell nationalist either there we go the Scottish National Party uh, did I type nationalist I didn't mean to type nationalist is it Scottish National Party I think it's National Party yeah not nationalist party all right and we're gonna be up against the I think the Labour Party probably or the Green Party the, uh, the, let's go with the Labour Party that's fine um, so basically, just a quick word, uh, the Scottish National Party is the controlling uh, party in Scotland. They have most seats in the UK Parliament and also in, you know, sort of the regional Scottish Parliament as well. Uh, they've, got a, they've got a majority in the regional Scottish Parliament. And so, you know, they're, they're sort of pushing for, for independence. And, uh, and yeah, we are going to do that. We are going to follow them on their mission to independence. Also, it's worth noting that the SNP don't really have a, a political allegiance when it comes to, you know, like left-wing, right-wing or whatever. They are, I, but I would, however, say that they are fairly left-wing in their approaches to things. So, um, you know, we can be anti-austerity, we can we can want to, to push up spending, you know, that is completely fine for us to do, um, you know, because that's what the, the Scottish National Party wants. All right, welcome to your new job as First Minister. The lives of all five million citizens are now in your hands. As you'll imagine, there are a number of situations and concerns. Plus, do not forget you face election in four years. That's fine. All right, so GDP is average. Health is uh, is pretty bad, actually. Um, in Scotland, especially, you know, there's, there's problems with rampant alcoholism. Um, education is not too shabby at all. We can't really complain too much about that. Uh, poverty is... is it's not actually that bad, although it could be a little bit better. Crime is actually relatively low, and unemployment is surprisingly high. All right. I feel confident. I feel confident, calm, and collected. Now, you might notice here, orbit uh, orb Orbital Potato, there is, there's a few too many blobs on here. And yes, there is. I've added some some more mods and stuff to sort of up the up the interest a little bit and uh, and introduce some new policies introduce some new disasters and events and whatnot so i think that's totally going to be interesting i mean what is this for example i don't really know what this is known terrorist activity all right what's this solar power okay that's good i'm, I'm down with that so as you can see there's a lot more bubbles and the bubbles uh, link into existing bubbles and and whatnot so all really really interesting electricity consumption Sweet. That actually gives oil demand a purpose, I suppose, doesn't it? Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Okay. What is the first thing that we really want to do? Well, as you can see, our our books are quite effectively balanced. You know, they're not too bad. Uh, we're running a small surplus, uh, but we've got a little bit of debt that I would ideally like to get rid of. Global economy looks like it's continuing in uh, in this upward trend. 
although apparently one of the mods I installed means that our GDP is no longer solidly linked to the global economy. In the base game, uh, one of the things that I really, really didn't like was the fact that if the global economy just fell, your GDP was just eliminated, and the only time your GDP went up was because of the global economy, so there was really no control that you had over that. It was, uh, it was just a very, very stiff and rigid system. That's not too shabby, to be honest. Uh, so this new system should be should be much, much nicer. All right, so I guess we should probably try and resolve some of the red bubbles that we've got sitting around. So we've got obesity, we've got the asthma epidemic, we've got, you know, alcohol abuse, we've got homelessness, and we've got an uncompetitive economy, which is a little bit of a shame. And of course, we've got a little bit of pollution that's going on. All right, so how do we want to resolve this and how do we want to resolve it using as little money as possible? Well, I feel okay upping expenditure. Um, I'm gonna guess that in the next, in the next round, in the next round, in the next, in the next turn, uh, the, if the global economy continues to rise, then our GDP will will go up, which is what I'm banking on. So that theoretically means that we should be able to spend a little bit more money. Uh, however, we don't need to spend any more money to change the alcohol laws, and of course, if we change the alcohol laws successfully and we, we stop alcohol abuse, then we save 2.6 billion, and that's not an inconsiderate amount of money. All right, so we're already spending a fair bit of money on community policing. We could spend a little bit more. It's going to cost zero political, cap political capital to raise, and it's only going to cost us 300 million more. All right, that's, that's great. We can effectively aff afford that by doing pretty much nothing. All right, alcohol consumption. How can we get this down? Well, the most traditional way of doing that is by changing either the alcohol tax or the alcohol law. Now, the alcohol law in the UK is uh, a minimum age of 18. However, however, we could change that. However, is the law something we really need, something we really want to change? I mean. I think the alcohol tax might be preferable. Um, in Scotland at the moment, there is uh, proposals that are you know, being contested in the European court about uh, a minimum price for alcohol. So um, the Scottish government believes that there should be a, uh, a minimum price of alcohol per units that are sold. Now, this is going to reduce equality, uh, and it's going to make poor people hate us a little bit more, although it will absolutely slash alcohol consumption, which will reduce alcohol abuse in turn. And plus, we will gain an extra four billion per turn. So, honestly, I'm okay with that. You know, the SNP, you know, traditionally, uh, or would like to say anyway to the public that uh, that they believe in sort of a higher tax model, taxing the wealthy. You know, taxing the houses of the wealthy and uh, and whatnot. And uh, you know, yeah, that's that's fair enough. You know, they they also advocate high spending, so you know, they need some way to to pay for that. All right, what is this? Inflation. Oh. Oh wow. All right. I'm down with this. This is this is getting this is getting good. I'm 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 liking the added complexity that's that's been introduced through these mods. All right. Um, sixteen political capital. How much political capital can we 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 have a zero of maximum a, a maximum of zero. Uh, that'll change. That'll change later. All right. What other problems do we want to try and resolve? So we've got this asthma epidemic that is that is going on, and that's because of the environment. Waste. Okay, so waste. This is a new thing that that sort of... Okay, this is... Yeah, this whole waste thing is uh, kind of interesting. Recycling. Okay. I think upping recycling to the absolute max universal doorstep collection, which is actually what most councils in Scotland have, I think that would be a good shout. And it's only going to cost us an extra couple of million, so... Uh, by all means, I am I am down with that. Is there anything else that we can do to help the environment? Mostly through waste, I think. Can we up waste collection? We can. Okay, this is going to cost a little bit of extra money, but if it helps the environment, does it help the environment? I think it helps the environment. Let me let me just check that. No, waste waste hurts the environment. But waste collection reduces waste. So, theoretically, if we if we up waste collection, then that is going to help the environment. Well, that's that's the sort of signals that I'm getting. But hey ho, we're going to have to wait and see. 
All right, so I've managed to spend all my political capital. I think that's uh, that's not too bad of a first turn. Let's go to the next phase and see what we've got in store. Click to return to government. Debt protection law. I'm going to limit the agency activity because that's something that the SNP would probably do. The polls do not look good. It's okay. The polls will come back. I'm not worried about that. Um, do we have... Do we have... A surplus we do indeed have a surplus it looks like that uh, that alcohol tax was was indeed the correct thing to do and we should see we should see it come down very very soon as soon as the alcohol tax is uh, is ruled out definitely definitely it's gonna come down it's gonna come down very quickly all right so what's our maximum our maximum political capital is 50 okay that's fine Um. Obesity is something that we're going to have to look at very, very shortly, and the asthma epidemic is is starting to come down. Is the environment starting to go up a little bit? Yeah, recycling is definitely helping, and waste has already been reduced by tons, so that's really, really great. Um, so hopefully if that continues in a downward direction, then we will see the economy, uh, the economy? The environment continue to improve. Great. All right. What is next? What is next on the agenda that we need to sort? Pollution, that should go down as the environment gets better. Uh, uncompetitive economy. All right. All right. We need to find some way of upping our productivity, and that is actually going to happen. In fact, in fact, this, this actually works rather nicely. So the way, the way that we can up our productivity is by increasing our health, because this will get rid of this bar, uh, alcohol consumption is going to go down and the asthma epidemic will uh, will finish once the environment is sorted so uh, the only way that we can really that we can really do it is by is by upping expenditure in the state healthcare service now this is very very expensive in comparison to other methods of anything state health care is always very expensive to run uh, but not at the point of use it's free at the point of use all right let's up it you know it's a big investment of political capital 18 political capital for for one policy is potentially foolhardy although you know what who really cares all right i think that's probably all that we're going to get done on this turn let's go to the next one and see what is going on all right street grang street grangs street gangs Okay, poverty has clearly become a substantial issue since this alcohol tax was uh, was introduced. That's a little bit annoying. Um, I'll be honest. I'll be I'll be honest. That is uh, that is annoying. But alcohol consumption, or alcohol abuse, should I say, is is coming down very very fast, and alcohol consumption is mirroring the situation of alcohol abuse. Asthma asthma is coming down very very fast too, and obesity will will go down fairly shortly do we want to get rid of the do we want to get rid of i think we probably just want to get rid of this actually i think we just want to cancel the policy i mean apart from making farmers rich and happy it doesn't really do any good for us yeah let's just completely get rid of it and um, there's no point okay so we are running an eight billion surplus Global economy is rising, our GDP is is doing not too badly, and our income is shooting up. So we do actually want to pay off our debt, you know, slowly but surely. There's no particular rush in, in paying off the debt. I mean, we've got 200 billion. It's not actually that much money. Um, so I'm, I'm quite happy just sort of taking a chill pill and, and taking a while. Uh, homelessness is something that we are going to have to resolve very, very shortly. Poverty is also something that is... Uh, problematic. Very problematic. Alright. There is a policy of... Ooh, look at this. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff here. Language course, refugee camps. Wow. It's pretty cool. Um, The thing that I wanted to do, the thing that I wanted to introduce was food stamps. There it is. I found it. If we introduce this and we bump it up to the max, it's going to cost us 1.3 billion, not a lot of money. Uh, it's going to reduce poverty, it's going to make poor people happy with us, it's going to increase health, it's going to increase farmers, great, and uh, and equality as well, so everybody can be, can be very, very happy about that. 
All right, is there anything else that we can do for for political capital? Rent controls? I suppose rent controls would would actually would actually help. And besides, the SNP are in favor of rent controls. All right, so I want to take a, a substantial chunk out of poverty, although that's only going to take 3.2%. Well, you know what? That's okay. Let's let's have rent controls on uh, let's have low rent controls on. All right, see if that works. So that's going to help the homelessness situation, I think. I hope anyway. I I'm I'm hoping quite seriously. Okay, freedom of information, we're going to propose the freedom of information act because that's probably something the SNP would do. And we can go to the next turn rather comfortably. Okay, a stress epidemic. That's not great, but who really cares? And our credit rating has been upgraded. This is good news. This is very, very good news indeed. Uh, the, glob the global economy is doing well. Our income is looking not too bad. Our expenditure is, is moving up slowly, but it's, it's barely, barely moving up. Uh, so our interest rate has gone down. That's going to mean that we're going to have more money to spend. Which is, which is always nice. And as long as the global economy sort of doesn't falter, then we should be fine. We should be fine. Fingers crossed, anyway. All right. This asthma epidemic is, uh, is, is not really going away as fast as I would like. Uh, car usage. We can, we can totally reduce car usage by getting rid of road building. That's something the SNP have done. They've uh, spent not very much money on roads because they're all pretty bad in uh, in Scotland anyway. No, I, 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 I'm not. No, I joke. I joke. But I'm okay with reducing road building. See, this is this is one of the classic policies that you just get rid of at the start uh, of of any democracy playthrough because traffic congestion is not a huge problem, or for me anyway, it's not a huge problem if you introduce other initiatives. You know, like uh, like buses and trains and stuff. So, hey ho, that's just a, an interesting point. Seven political capital. I don't really think we can do much with seven political capital. So I will just move swiftly onwards to the next turn and uh, and see what we got. All right, appoint a UN ambassador. Who really cares? Doesn't make a difference to me. Uh, crime is going down. Unemployment is going down. GDP is up. Health is up. Education is the same, and poverty is the same. That's great. Uh, also, we've jumped in the polls. We're up to 55% of the vote. That's not too bad at all. In fact, that's darned good, actually. I'm still worried about this street gang situation. Don't really understand why, why this is going on. I presume it's just because poverty and unemployment uh, both became rather high. Alcohol abuse, this is coming down. It's coming down slowly, but it is coming down. As poverty and unemployment uh, go down as well, we should see this fall quicker. This asthma epidemic is uh, is is annoying, actually. The car usage should start to go down after this road building delay, uh, or after the reduced road building policy has been implemented, and that's going to take 16 turns of impl implementation. That's what I mean to say. All right, we are actually buying back our, we're paying back our debt in 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 a very you know in a, in a good way. It's quite fast. All right, productivity. We've tried. We've tried to uh, to deal with all of the health concerns. Productivity is starting to rise, which is what we really like to see. Uh, industrial automation. We could tax that, but there's nothing else we really want to do with it. I mean, that's that's okay. All right, but you know, this is looking good. This is looking really, really good. Capitalists really aren't happy with us. What's the threat assessment? Uh, not many people in groups. That's what we like to see. I like that. I like that a lot. All right. What else do we want to sort of resolve? I mean, there is this street gangs, known terrorist activity. This is flicking up and down. All right. Well, whatever. Um, euthanasia. Oh, my goodness. Wow. This is a thing now. Woohoo. Um, speed cameras. All right. What do we... This this reduces... This increases health. Okay. Reduces motorists' income. Well, not if you're... If you're speeding, it reduces your income. If you're not speeding, then it doesn't reduce your income. 
I don't think this is a policy we really need to figure to fiddle around with, to be honest. Although, the more the more we put it up, the cost increases, but so does the income. So, I think actually, you know what? I think we're going to be sneaky and uh, and and make a lot of money off parking tickets and speeding tickets and stuff like that. I don't mind that. I'm I'm okay with doing that. I don't I don't mind. I don't mind giving people a speeding ticket. If they're speeding then they're, they're breaking the law, so you know, by all means we need to. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for today. My name of course has been Open Potato. Hopefully you've enjoyed some Democracy Three as a potentially independent Scotland. Um thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.